Hi guys, this is your girl Najwa. Thank you for being back on my channel. Please do me a favor right now while I got you, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button and click the bell so you always know when I post videos. Just a little disclaimer before this video, I want you to know that I do not tolerate or condone any sort of harassment or bullying on my channel and to play nice. Now, before we also get into it, I also want to comment that other monarchies, other royal families who have mixed race or people of color marry into their families have publicly come out and renounced racism, renounced hatred and violence in any way coming towards their family members. And that does include the Norwegian royal family and the royal family from Switzerland. So, um, Yes, the game that the UK playing is a dangerous one, and it is one that could have been avoided with very, very simple, straightforward support of Harry and Meghan and renouncing of any violence or racism. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Hey guys, this is Najwa. Thank you for being back at my channel today. I'm so happy that you're here. While I got you, please just go ahead, do me a favor, Click that like and subscribe button. Please click the bell so that you get notifications whenever I post a video. Subscribing to my channel is a great way to help me grow this little community and I'm so happy to have you guys here. So um, today I need to talk about Samantha Markle's deposition. We need to talk about Samantha Markle's deposition. Um, so if you haven't watched any of my other Harry and Meghan videos, uh, please do because if you're not updated on the situation, Harry and Meghan, um, the prince, the prince uh, of Sussex, uh, Harry, and his wife Meghan Markle left the United Kingdom back in 2020. They said they were stepping down as royals because they had experienced abuse. They experienced abuse from the UK press. They ex experienced racism. Um, and this story had just has compelled me so much and it's obviously compelled a lot of people as well not necessarily on the team of helping out Harry and Meghan but on the team of just total hate and unfortunately Meghan's own sister Samantha Markle is a part of that hate now <laughs> I don't know how low you have to go to sue your own sister I, I, I really really don't know but apparently that is where Samantha Markle is at. And so I just feel like we need to talk about this. Um, on my first video about Harry and Meghan, it just, for some reason, pretty much blew up. It got a lot, well, blew up for someone who doesn't have very many followers. And um, it got way more traction and, and well, not, I'm not even going to say traction because I don't know how much was accomplished. A lot of trolls. Um, but I'll say it got a lot more attention than I expected it to. Just me simply speaking up for Harry and Meghan and being a part of the Sussex squad, it doesn't surprise me that people come after us. Um, but we need to talk about Samantha Markle in this deposition. So, um, you guys probably already know my stance in full support of Harry and Meghan. So proud of them. So proud to see them thriving. To see these two humanitarians who have not stepped down. These two humanitarians did not step down, they did not back, they did backtrack, step back when they were in the face of so much hate that has come from not only within their own families, and I'm talking on both ends of both Harry and Meghan, but also, um, you know, on the, the end of the media and the people who have just targeted them to come after them. They have not stepped down and that is an admirable uh, trait because Anyone who's dealing with the amount of haters and naysayers and doubters that these people are dealing with and still be okay, still have the resilience to continue to try and speak up for the underdogs, to commit themselves to humanitarian cause and service, to um, take care of themselves and their family. I mean, I could, I could, <laughs> I could sort of give someone slack for dealing with everything that Harry and Meghan have dealt with and not even wanting to get out of the bed, honey. So like the fact that they are still like, okay, still bossing, you know, like I just love them. But um, at the same time, very, very sad to see. 
Now, I felt compelled to get on here and talk about this. I know, of course, there's going to be haters um, because people don't want to really just talk about what this is about. It's about racism. It's about hatred. It's about jealousy. Um, it's about the fact that the media and people like, you know, Pierce Morgans and Lorraine and, and these media moguls, the um, Camilla Tom Tomini, I think it's her name, Camilla Tomini and and um um who, who's the uh the guy who who jumped on their on their case um god it's oh uh rupert murdoch you know rupert murdoch is basically the 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 man behind the 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 um the man behind the curtain so to speak you know it's like he is fueling all of this and it's like these, this hate, they have monetized this hate, these media uh, outlets, if they can even call themselves publications, um, and they see that they can make a quick buck off of Harry and Meghan, and it's absolutely reputable behavior. I mean, it's, I, <laughs> we could be here all day with me searching for words that I could describe my loathing and disgust for this 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 hatred that these two people have received but you know um, don't get it mistaken there are people out here like myself who are just holding Harry and Meghan and our hypothetical arms were circling around them um, to say that it's okay we know that this happens and in my other video you know we'll get to Samantha Markle in a second but it's like I have to just tell people how like repulsive they are behaving I, if if the, the people who are out there like samantha marco who tracked up all of these trolls you know create multiple twitter accounts just to attack these two people um maybe no one has talked to you and 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 asked you to take a look at yourself take a look at where your life is but uh, trashing people online, and even Samantha Marco going after your own sister, the, the depth and depravity of your hate, your hatred, and your vitriol, and your bigotry. Um, and yes, I say bigotry because we know why Harry and Meghan are in this seat, and Kate and William are not. It's not because Kate and William know how to play good little boys and girls and shut their mouths. No, this is about race. This is about xenophobia. Get real, okay? If, if you haven't admitted that to yourself, beyond that, it's just hatred. No other way to describe it, you know? Stop being so hateful. Okay, um, but Samantha Markle is basically taking her sister to a deposition. I'm not going to get into the logistics of this because it's over the Oprah interview from 2021. If you guys want to go and look at that video, you know, like if you want to look at that and, and see why she's suing her sister, go and look at the Oprah interview. You'll see it, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to go into a synopsis of it. We're just going to discuss this. Now, what I have to say about Samantha Markle where do you get the audacity? Where? Where? You know, there is a reason why you and Megan were never, ever close. You know, there is a reason. Like, look at the depths of what you're going to essentially to extort money from your own sister. And I don't, 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 don't get me in one single second of saying she's doing this because she wants to clear the word for her father or for herself. This is about money. This is about money. You know, you know how we know that it's about money is because every other time that Samantha Marco has opened her mouth, it has been publicized, it's been pushed out, it's been synthesized and recreated and redistributed to a bunch of hateful older housewives who just see some, uh, Meghan Markle. They see someone who is smart, intelligent, cares about others, uh, got a prince for a husband. Do I need to say much more? Same thing for this woman, Tasha Walpole, who was coming out saying that, oh, I'm, I'm clearing my name when I was never even mentioned in Harry's book. You know, like, it's just the, the depth of these people and their misery. You know that saying that misery loves company. This is what this is about. Now, we laugh at haters on this channel. 
Because, like, sometimes you just gotta laugh at it, honey. It's like, Jesus, is it really that bad? But at the point where your hatred, your self-destructive hatred becomes dangerous for other people, which we know the hatred that Samantha Markle has spread towards her sister and her family has caused and incited so much hatred and violence that just, I don't know how two people could stand it. I, I, I don't know how two people could be getting death threats, be uh, hearing that, you know, it was right that they lost their baby because of all the miscarriage, because of the stress and the miscarriage. Hearing that, uh, you know, your, you, the, your, your, your discussion of racism in the royal family is not valid because you're one-fourth black and your child is whiter than me. You know, these are the type of comments that you see on YouTube, you see on Reddit, you see on Quora, and it's just like, come on, guys. Now... One of my biggest concerns about this thing, and if Samantha Markle was a fraction of a good sister, it would probably be her concern as well. The fact that she has incited, along with the firm and people of the royal family in the UK who have incited uh, hate against Harry and Meghan by way of briefing, there we go, by way of briefing against Harry and Meghan, because we know that members of the royal family briefed against them, and this was a regular basis, and they are still doing this craziness. Um, the fact that Samantha Markle and the firm, because the firm is the one who's putting out so much of this hatred, salacious, just, you know, I'm looking at my computer, just this, this, these lies about Harry and Meghan, and I, I do think that at least 40% of that is the media itself just taking it and making up stuff. You know, the other day I was on YouTube and I saw a short of Selena Gomez with a baby and I didn't really look very closely. I'd just woken up and so I, I wasn't looking very closely. And I was like, oh my God, Selena Gomez had a baby? Oh, so happy for her. So I went on Google and looked it up. She doesn't have a baby. I went back and looked at the short. It was terribly photoshopped, you know? And it's just like, you know, this is what the, the day and age that we live in, so, full of so much fake news. I mean, the hatred is not just by itself. It's also the fake news. And so, you know, Samantha Markle, these hateful troll housewives who hate Meghan, are jealous of her, and so they are targeting hate towards her. The firm, you know, and I guess people who think that they're being loyal to the monarchy by trashing Harry and Meghan, and then sprinkle in a few conservative Americans with that, you know, extreme, far, right-wing, you know, types of people who stormed the Capitol Americans. Like, I'm not saying Samantha Marco would have stormed the Capitol, but if she had the capability, maybe she would have been one of the people with them. Because, okay, I don't want to get, <laughs> I don't want to get offensive, you know, but this is, this is, has really heated me. Her own children don't speak with her. You know, that should point to how toxic this woman is. Um, so Samantha Markle, you know, if she was a good sister, she would see, oh my God, my sister and her husband have been through so much. And by all intents and purposes, they are very good people. They're humanitarians. They commit themselves to charity, to important social justice causes. You know, all they did was fall in love with someone who was unlikely, you know, and, and you would think a, a sister, a father would think that way because Meghan Markle's mom has been that way. Doria. So just think about Doria. Think about how beautiful and supportive Doria has been from the very beginning. Now, Thomas Markle and Doria they divorced a long time ago. You know, they separated when Megan was very young. And so she basically was raised as an only child. And you can see, you can see as, as a child of divorce, you can see Thomas Markle's family and you can see Doria and you can see the difference of their approaches to everything, to life, to um, basic values, to, to, um, you know, the way that they raise their children, everything. Because this whole time, I have not seen where it, it could be very, very um, likely that Doria went and sold a bunch of stuff to the media. I don't see her online, you know, just 
sitting in a coffee shop with a book about Queen Elizabeth, you know, because no, because that, that's not who Doria is. And so if there are deeper problems with Thomas Markle, if he has, you know, psychological issues, you can make room for that. You can make way for that. Um, if there are deeper issues with Samantha Markle, you can make way for that. But this is not the way to go about doing it. And the people who are encouraging this, you want to talk about Harry and Meghan airing their family's dirty laundry, you know, in front of the world to see. Then let's talk about the Markles airing their dirty laundry. Because it wasn't Meghan who incited that. It was Samantha Markle and Thomas Markle. They are toxic. The children don't condone that or support that behavior. You look at the interviews of Samantha Markle's children and they don't support that behavior. They don't even talk to her. The daughter of Samantha Markle, who Megan is close with, is closer to her sister than Samantha Markle is, okay? Now, Samantha, you screwed up. If from the very beginning, you were like Doria and you were holding, holding Megan and, and her husband and their growing little family in your arms with love and embrace, you know, way before Megan even came to into the royal family. If you were reaching out to her, if you were saying, oh, I love what you're working on. Um, can, can we meet up for coffee? Like if, if you were actually trying to take an active stance in this woman's life, you know, without all the extra, um, you know, grubby, greedy, you know, angry type of stuff behind there. You don't think that she would have been there for you. If you needed money for your medical expenses, you need money for, you know, I don't know what it is. I, I, maybe you, maybe she can't work, you know, because I know that she does have MS. So maybe she can't work. If you needed that, don't you think that if you weren't such an atrocious person <laughs> inside of yourself, that maybe your sister would have been there for you before. You know, it really reminds me almost of Mariah Carey's situation with her toxic sister. I might make a video about that, but if you don't know about that, go and check that out because people can really be jealous of your success. And the, the, the common person in the UK, you know, a lot of the common people in the UK see that life is difficult, life is hard, I gotta put in all this work making barely enough money to take care of myself, my family, my kids, whatever. So instead of me taking a look at my life and seeing what I can do, I'm gonna throw all this hate towards Harry and Meghan. You know, that's that's Samantha, Mar Mar uh, Samantha Markle's M.O. and that's all these crazy trolls' is M.O., okay? And, and it's even more atrocious to look at it from Samantha Markle because she's related to this woman. But to look at it from the public, it's just ridiculous, guys. Come on. Come on. Commit, to, commit, commit yourself to something better than sitting and spreading hate about two people you don't even know. Come on, UK. Come on, UK, US. Both of you guys get serious. And what I find so hilarious, like the Tucker Carlson's, the, the Fox News type people of the US, those are the people who are trashing Harry and Meghan along with Samantha Markle. Um, because... You know what? I'm not even going to go there. I'm not going to go there. Okay. Anyway, so the, my other concern about this deposition, which, you know, the fact that they either, the court even is seeing this case, I'm just like, what the hell? What the hell? What, what, what day and age are we living in right now? Is this, people are seriously suffering out there. There's murderers, uh, child molesters, there's people who are robbing, stealing, catching, crime, and whatever. This is seriously what's being considered right now. But, okay, if I'm playing devil's advocate, and they are, you know, going to put Samantha Markle on the stand, they're going to check this case out because it does, you know, they, they want to be fair and impartial, and they want to go ahead and investigate further into this and see it. Okay, cool. But Samantha Markle, how dare you? You know, with the fact that these two people, Harry and Meghan, have received death threats. They've just been trying to take care of their family, keep them safe, keep them loved, keep them warm. Instead of you saying, how can I help you? How can I be there for you? You know, like this, the, for the past six years, that has been out of, out of the question, you know, her actually being there without expecting something at the end. But now that you actually are taking your sister to court, which is not going to end in any good way, 
You're putting her in danger. You know you're putting her in danger. You know that you have incited hate. You know that you have driven hate towards her through your smear campaign, Samantha Markle. You know that you've done that. And now you're going to put your own sister in danger. What I just said is I seriously, seriously, seriously hope wherever in Florida that this deposition, that this court case, this hearing, wherever it happens throughout the entirety of the process, that Harry and Meghan pay for security, that they are very vigilant and aware of their surroundings because this woman, she didn't just put her, her, her sister in danger for $75,000. And the people who are so obsessive with their hate campaign towards Harry and Meghan, they are putting these people in danger because... If you'd ask me, they probably just don't know that they've become unhinged. You've become unhinged, honey. You want to harm someone you've never met in your life. Sometimes someone needs to sit you aside and say, have you taken a look at where you're at right now? Now, some people are psychopaths, sociopaths. There's no reasoning with them. But the fact that Samantha Markle would put her own sister, expose her, to that risk for $75,000. And, and you can't tell me that somehow, even if it's indirect, even if it's indirect related to their relationship that they've had in the past, you cannot tell me that the firm is not related to this in some way. Now, I, I said in my first video where I posted that I'm disappointed in the UK. I've lived in the UK. I love UK culture. I love UK literature. You know, there's so much about the UK that I love. And I'm sitting here and I'm watching a country that I love just disseminate into a big old fire just ringing around the toilet drain, toilet bowl just going. And I'm watching that and I'm just thinking, wow, guys wake up and I think the same of the extremists the far far right extremists in the US who are also condoning this hate guys wake up because you are gonna go down in the history books as the people who tortured vilified and put in danger two people who were for the intents and purposes most part normal kind-hearted Service-oriented people. Come on. Come on. At some point, you guys are going to have to take a look at yourself. Take a look at yourself. And you know, the thing is, is that... Samantha Markle, I just... I really, I really am disappointed. I'm so, so disappointed. I'm disappointed that this woman comes from where I'm from, that I can, that, that this is, you know, but at the same time, you know, mental health, mental health awareness and self-love, self-encouragement, self-fulfillment is something that is so, so important. And... If you don't get that, and if you're born into generations of trauma, and whatever that trauma is, if you're born into generations of alcoholism, if you're born into generations of uh, domestic violence and abuse, if you're born into generations of misogyny, if you're born into generations of racism, that can often just be your M.O. without you even deciding it. And now, I'm not trying to cast judge judgment I'm not you know I'm not trying to cast judgment in this regard but to take a look at Megan's mother's side of the family and to take a look at her father's side of the family clearly when Doria left Thomas something was off something was wrong you know people get divorced because sometimes generational trauma prevails sadly you know, and yes, hate can be a part of generational trauma. And maybe that hate got trickled on down from, I don't know, 
know, Thomas Markle's dad and granddad, and, and maybe it got a little bit better with him, but he just wasn't really able to fight that, that battle. Um, and maybe that just also got trickled down to Samantha Markle. You look hateful. You look hateful. And the fact that Nate the lawyer, you know, a person of color, who when I go and look at his YouTube channel, the only thing he's really talking about is Meghan Markle. I wonder why that is. I wonder why people do that. You know, for Sussex Squad family, I love that show. I love uh, Tisa Tells, Claudia Boleyn. Um, for people like that, it's because they're supporting Harry and Meghan, you know. But for people whose sole purpose on a social media platform is just to disparage Harry and Meghan and more appropriate to say Meghan and Harry. Come on guys, let's get real. Let's get real. That's about monetization. That's about seeing, oh my God, there's a surplus of trolls out there who hate Harry and Meghan. Let me go ahead and make my money off of these people. And you guys who are out there being so hateful you're passing some money to them. So if you're pissed off because you haven't fulfilled all your goals and dreams that you wanted to, if you're pissed off because this beautiful, intelligent black woman snagged a prince and you are mad about that, so you're sending hate her way, why don't you go ahead and focus your time on, you know, making your life more valuable elsewhere? You, because that would be much more useful that would be much more useful. And you know, Samantha Markle, I don't, again, I don't have to talk about the fact that so many people have succumbed to the hate of trolls and bullies, like you and the people that you incite. So many people have succumbed to that, have taken their own lives, because that was the only way that they saw out. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the logistics of this Oprah interview because I actually went because I, I had seen it you know around the time when it came out and I saw clips of it since since then but just because of this deposition because of her coming out with this filthy lawsuit based around the Oprah interview I had to go and watch it again and do you know what's crazy I could not find a full version of it anywhere anywhere you know <laughs> It's just like they're trying to cover the truth up and um, we live in a world where stuff comes on TV, you know, it goes off and you don't necessarily always get to see it. There might be some people out there who V-vote it or, or whatever it is. And so maybe eventually we'll, we'll be able to get a hold of something like that. But that's okay. I, I've seen snippets of it. I've seen the portion where she talks about Samantha Markle, where she talks about the fact that you know, she can't really feel betrayed by someone that she hadn't seen, that she, she hadn't had a relationship for 18 years, you know, and, and, and even that wasn't a relationship. She had, hadn't seen her in 18 years, and before that she hadn't seen her in 10 years. You know, the fact that we are dissecting and picking apart this Oprah interview points to the hate, points to the fact that this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um... So, I don't, I don't see anything very much wrong. Uh, so, Samantha Markle, what's, what's she going to go and say, Oh, I basically raised Megan. She's going to say, Oh, no, it wasn't 18 years that I didn't talk to her. It was 11. You know, it's just like, dude, come on. What, what are you talking about? Uh, you know... I feel like we are we have marked ourselves in a part of society where we no longer want to believe the victim. We want to believe the people who abuse the victims. And that is just, it's really disgusting to me. It just made me think of the Amber Heard case. And yes, I do believe that Amber Heard ex uh, experienced sexual and physical abuse from Johnny Depp. But he, the, the, the brand of Johnny Depp is so valuable that we got to prop it up and dismiss a victim. You know, that's the type of culture that we live in. And it's just disgusting. It's just disgusting. So um, I, I really don't have to judge. I really don't have to judge because 
Honey, Samantha Markle, there's going to be a nice warm seat waiting for you down under. Get your life together, girl. Get your life together. Stop going after your sister. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is so crazy. I really want to know what you guys think. Um, if you're going to send hate to this channel, if you're going to come to me with hate, if you're going to come to me with racism, trolling, bigotry, disparaging anybody's looks, disparaging anybody's um, intellect, any of that stuff. I won't tolerate abuse on this channel. Um, do not send hate Samantha Markle's way. Don't send hate Meghan Markle or, or Harry's way. And um, But let me know what you guys think in the comments. I am interested to hear the commentary. And um, if you haven't already, do me a favor and go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. Um, click the bell so you know whenever I post a video, and I will see you in the next one. Okay.